going on squad and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so september's here already this year is non-existent i don't care what anybody says but let's see what's going on for us this month now like always this will be for sun moon rising and venus signs and keep in mind that the energy could be transferable so it could be your energy that i'm picking up on or the energy of something or someone around you okay so what's up with squad september what are the energies around this All right, let's get at least three cards here. All right, so the first one, love begins. Awesome. We have choose wisely. Okay. And then we have victory and success. Okay, I like this. All right, so there can definitely be options on the table this month, guys, especially if it has to do with love. This could be opportunities and work as well. I just feel like there's going to be more than one um, option and you are able to find success, but you have to choose the right one, okay? We have the solar plexus chakra followed by recognition and reward, third eye chakra, okay? Movement, choices, decisions, truth. So you already know what's up you already know what this is there is going to be a power you know it's like there's a power that comes out of you a power within you just a powerhouse within you where it's like you're, you're finally recognized or you're finally seen for something you make some sort of breakthrough that's what I'm feeling um, but again there's gonna be a lot of choices and Maybe some choices that you have with the suffering and silence card could be tied to pain or trauma that you've been going through. So yeah, decisions have to be made, but I feel like you have all the knowledge and you have all the facts and you have all the wisdom and intuition within you to make the right choices. All right, so let's see why these cards are here. Let's break this down a little bit more. All right, so love begins. What is this about? We have the Eight of Swords. So it's like something is starting, but your mind hasn't gotten past a certain situation or hasn't seen completely clearly past something. Um, you know, this is a person that feels blinded. They feel like they can't move. They feel like they can't see something, but they're not actually stuck. They just, they need that little push. Why is this here? Love begins. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. So, you know, there's something here that it seems really solid but maybe you're stuck on some sort of injustice that happened to you in the past or something that was unfair, okay? So it's like something good is coming in, but I feel like your mind is still stuck on something you're not 100% over, especially in a mental way, okay? Choose wisely, why is this here? Eight of wands in the reverse. So something, you know, you're choosing to cut something out for sure because that's where you stay strong so it's you know what do i have to do whether you're male or female queen of pentacle energy is powerful energy what do i have to do to remain within my power what do i have to do to remain on my throne and not look like you know um my life is being obstructed in any way so what do i do to maintain this this level of balance and peace and power this there's a lot of power cards here guys i feel like what you're getting into it's not just like um, you know, getting into a new dress that you're going to buy at the store. I feel like you're, you're getting into something that is life-changing. I feel like this is a very altering energy that is beneficial. And for a lot of us, it can be financial. Okay, we have the Page of Wands in the reverse. And this is for the Victory and Success card. We have the Justice card and the Nine of Cups, okay? So again, there's going to be different ways that you can get to what you want. There's going to be different things that are presented to you. But I feel like at least one of those ways may not be solid. So you're going to be happy here, but there's also something that I feel is karmic around you um, or something that's just going to test you. 
Okay, but I, I do feel like you end up winning, Taurus, because, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even see that when I said when. You're celebrating this. You're, you're calling all your friends. You're, you're pulling out the Patron bottle, and you're happy. You're really freaking happy. And you know what, Taurus? Um, I think the last reading spoke about, you know, a wake-up call that pushes you to what you needed to go towards. This is exactly what it is. Something was foul. Something was obstructing your life path. Something was, you know, it, it was throwing you off your, um, you know, what you were meant to do. It was throwing you off balance. Okay. And again, things happened in a way where maybe you didn't see it happening that way, but this is the result. All right. You became independent from whatever this was and you take the fuck off. Okay, the chariot, no one can stop you. You're completely in control. And that's the fastest moving energy in the deck. So you guys really have to get ready for that. Where there may have been some sort of blow in the past, but then something, it smacks you in the face, but it's a very good smack, okay? It's something that is going to be big towards. I, I truly, like in my spirit, feel that right now. All right, guys. So past, present, and future. What is going on for Taurus, past, present, and future? September 2020. Now, guys, you can find me on Instagram, High Vibrations 44. I'm also on Twitter, Brujashe, okay? You guys don't mind that I vibe to music. It just keeps them more awake. All right, one more, and then we can get this on the road. Here we go. Okay, guys, the energy here, the Seven of Pentacles, it's a waiting game at this point. Um, something is developing, something is in the process, something is brewing up, all right? There is a situation where I feel you guys were very, very depleted. Could have been the person around you or an energy around you, but something really depleted you, whether it was financially, emotionally, spiritually, and there could have been a lot of heartbreak, devastation behind this, okay? But it lights some sort of fire in you, where again Taurus this had to wake you up you guys know we're stubborn as shit and sometimes we need rude wake-up calls okay so here something just lights a fire under you and you take off you're on the direction you're meant to be in the strength card you it's power you know it's power you you regain power so in your past we have the two of cups in the reverse the ace of wands and the nine of wands so there could have been a fallout of some sort. Maybe you guys were arguing with someone, but new beginnings came from that, okay? I feel like you're just in a place where there can be a lot of heaviness or there can be, you know, just a lot of pressure on you. And you're just waiting for that breakthrough. Two of cups in the reverse. Why is this here? We have the 10 of wands in the reverse. So with whatever you guys let go of, you let go of the burden of it too, okay? So this is something where you can breathe. It's like you can stand up straight. Ace of Cups in the reverse. So yeah, there's definitely some sort of fallout. Um, for some of you, it could have been just a really heavy argument. But I definitely see space if this is between, like, you know, two people. Where someone is just thinking logically. And they're like, look, I'm not even going to worry about this anymore. Because it's just, this is a bad idea. Okay. So that Queen of Swords energy comes in. And I feel like that's something that you guys encompass. All right, it could be an air sign that you were dealing with, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, but that's just you, you know, being realistic. Like, this is what needs to be done, okay? Ace of Wands, why is this here? We have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Cups, so some of you could have been starting something new. It could have had to do with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or just something where there's going to be a lot of passion, and there's going to be a lot of stability, and with stability, the key word is 
emotional, okay, emotional stability. So you go towards that. But again, it's because you realize that something was just funny about a path you were on. Um, something couldn't be trusted. You had to get off of it. And for a lot of you with the Six of Swords in the reverse, you know, it was very hard to move away from it. Okay. So lastly, we have this Nine of Wands here for the past. So let's see why this is here. We have the King of Wands. So that could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. But I again, I just feel like that's that's our emotions and that's our drive coming into play. We have the Page of Swords in the reverse. So there may be something around you and you know this is still the past so there may have been something around you where as like you don't think clearly around it. it could have been someone who's like super attractive it could have been you know someone that was a good talker but there's just something where i feel like it threw you off maybe you had a harsh sense of interaction but it could have just been something that a person desired but it could have also been the thing that depleted you Let's pull one more card here. Eight of Cups in the verse. So someone could have desired to return to something. Okay. So there could have been a sense of waiting on that. But again, I see bad judgment in that. Because I see injustices there. Okay. So something that is just, you know, isn't working. All right, squats. So present moment, we have the Four of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Five of Swords. Okay there is stability with where you where you're at there is a foundation that's being built but at the same time either there's things you're not accepting or there's just like a sense of boredom it's like there's nothing around you that you see worth going towards okay so maybe there's inner conflict with that but let's break this down more. all right so four of wands what's up here we have the six of pentacles so there's balance there's foundation And we have the three of cups in the reverse. Because maybe you saw something for what it is. If this had to do with love, maybe you guys were in some sort of third party situation. But it's like you you see something for what it is. And it's like you're okay. You're, you're still solid. This just, it propels you into something so strong. Let me get one more card for this for this three of cups seven of cups yeah so something it's like you know that it was an illusion but you're still balanced because you dodged a bullet you knew that there was a path that just you would have been bending over backwards you know jumping through hoops for this it just it wasn't it all right so with the four of cups this is a center energy this is what everything ties into um so let's see why this is there we have the nine of cups in the reverse and the tower card in the reverse. So again, it could be that sense of not seeing anything around you worth going towards, whether it's a lover or like a new job. You know, you don't see anything on the market that excites you. Whether it's you not seeing something that's worth it or you knowing that something's not gonna come in or you knowing that you're not gonna offer something of yourself, I think that there's a, a tad bit of disappointment there, you know? There's some sense of unhappiness there, but guys, look, you dodged a bullet. With the tower card, do you want to be in this building? No. Okay, you don't want to be there. There's a lot of shit, you know, going on there. This is where we're at. We were able to get out right before it collapsed, okay? So we don't have to deal with the aftermath of that. We, we're, we're good. We're good, okay? So five of swords here, but before that, look at what's on the ground, at uh, the bottom of the deck here. All right, guys, so this is all us. This is life. Like, this is this is destiny. This is success. This is strength. This is abundance. All right, you saw it clearly. You saw what you needed to see, okay? And that's the best fucking thing that could have happened. Whether you're in pain or not, whether you see it now or not, it's the best thing that could have happened. full card squad this is all about us this is a time for us this is going to be a good season for us you guys got to focus all right spirit is saying don't worry you're good 
something was a bad idea and whatever that bad idea was it's not something we go back to so full card star card we had the ten of pentacles here you know we have the ace of pentacles like this is solid it may not have come in the form that you expected it to but it's there okay because you let go of something where there's probably a lot of secrets a lot of shit a lot of shadiness ten of pentacles all right so everything is being set up for y'all going into the future the sun card in the reverse the queen of wands and the chariot in the reverse okay so something unexpected definitely happens here i want to break it down before i talk about it because these energies can say a lot and it can go a lot of different ways all right sun card reversed why is this here five of wands in the reverse seven of swords there's something that just brings so much ease to your soul and if there's any sort of inner conflict any sort of tension that you feel it, it really pulls you out of that place but this is something for whatever reason you guys don't really speak about it you keep it to yourself but it's empowering and it brings a lot of balance it brings a lot of like recovery energy whether you're recovering from loss of finances you know heartache um just any loss in general okay and it brings you back to a place where it's like you you find inner peace i feel like you tap more into yourself with the six of cups reversed all right so this queen of wands for some of you, that could be Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. For others, that could be the energy we're encompassing. We have the Seven of Wands. <laughs> I like this, guys. And the Three of Swords. So there's, there's this duality, okay? It hurts sometimes to see things for what they are. And I think that that's one of those things. Something is seen, we're just like, fuck, that's what it is? All right, cool. But that pain, that disappointment, it gives you a fire that you need a Taurus. I'm sorry, you, you needed something to re-spark you. Because I feel like for a lot of us, there's been a lot of stagnation. There's been a lot of um, just retreating within ourselves and just recharging, but it's time to act now, Taurus, okay? We've been hibernating long enough. It's time for us to get up. It's time for us to fuck shit up because everything is aligned. And I need this kick, you know, this kick in the ass as well. But something just says, you know what? I had to wake you up, but now you're going to have so much drive. So this is literally you guys working on whatever you're working on. It's like, I went through this, so you you can't get to me. You can't fuck with me. I, I already had this, okay? I'm on fire now. And it's like you're fighting for it and you're going for it and you're actively, you know, putting effort. So I like this. So what is this cherry in the reverse about? Because this is usually, you know, when a situation is like out of our hands, it's out of our control. We have the moon card. And we have the hermit card in the reverse. I honestly think it's that there's something that wasn't known that is just exposed guys that's really what i feel something is exposed and this is beyond you so whether it's your secret someone else's secret um it, it just comes out and i feel like it's it's there's just chaos behind this the devil reversed death card in the verse world card in the verse so it's something you're still tied to in some way but again it, it's something that you avoid you you get victory out of this so it's like something comes out and and it looks really messy so whether it's your mess or someone else's mess it looks messy but you're still on top okay this is really powerful guys you know i, I think that this is something taurus definitely needs right now so whatever this is it empowers you okay so shit is gonna come out you know shit always comes out to the light so <sighs> That's why I just let things rock, you know. Karma is not my responsibility. Karma is the universe's responsibility. So it'll do what it needs to do. I'm going to just try my best to be a good person, okay? All right, squad. So let's get some general advice for the month. What does spirit want to leave us off with? I'm in a much better mood after doing this reading.
Six of Swords. Okay? Gotta let it go, guys. Whatever bullshit this is, you gotta let it go. The Devil. You gotta let go of the Devil. Okay? We have the Nine of Swords. Higher font in the verse. Knight of Swords in the verse. There's something that's gonna be on your mind, Taurus, and it's not gonna be something I think you guys, you know, stop thinking about overnight. But you know it's reckless. You know it's detrimental to not only you right now, but your future, your life path. Okay, and it's just it's it's something that's toxic, it's something that's dark in your life. It's something that karmically it needed to be there. You learned a lesson. Okay, but King of Swords attitude now. This is someone that can't be fucked with. This is someone who's very smart and it's like they know better. So whatever you need to reject, whatever you need to leave out in the cold, do it. Because now you see something would have been a disaster and your soul wanted no part in this. Okay, so you might feel like you're screwed over or that, you know, something is heavy or it really hurts. But you're good. You're functioning. You're able to do shit. And um, again, there's just something that couldn't be trusted. But it's like the universe has something good for you. And I know that with these readings, guys, the energy could be vice versa. Okay, but whatever situation, and you got to be honest with yourself. You have to look in the mirror. How have I affected others? You know, have I done more to hurt others? Have I put, you know, negative karmic energy out there? Or have I been trying to, like, do my best? So I feel like those who were genuinely in, in a healthy and a good way trying to do something good... You know, now karmically the world is like, yo, I got you. And I have this for you. And now you're going to flourish. And I, I see that you went through that, but, I, you know, I'm going to take care of you. And then there's those where it's like, maybe you were the devil. Maybe you gaslit somebody. Maybe you abused someone. Maybe you, um, you know, just did something really wrong. So if whoever did that wrong thing or whatever energy that resulted around, that's where the tower moment is going to happen. Okay. So it's like there, there's people who learn from this and there's people who still have a little more learning to do, okay? But overall, if, if you just karmically start making good decisions, you, you can take part in this energy, of course. So we have the Page of Wands in the reverse, the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So yeah, you're cutting out something that was toxic. It might be hard to move away from, but it just it couldn't be trusted. There was too much burden. You're worried about something that would literally bring you burden, okay? It wasn't the path for you. Walk away. And this dance was toxic, guys, okay? For a lot of you, this could have to do with love, but this could really be a fallout with, you know, toxic job environment, you know, family, household, but yeah, something wasn't reciprocated, but now you have so much success. The universe is always looking out for us if we go in the world with your pure heart and good intentions. So guys, even when the world is disgusting, you have to be a good person because what we put out is what we get back. So even when people do foul shit, it's like pray for them, you know, know that it's not about you. It kind of comes from past trauma it's always personal you know don't always take things so personally and just be a good person and good things will happen to you okay don't think that the universe hates you the universe sees it if someone fucks you over they see it all right karma's a real bitch guys i'm saying but this is an awesome reading i think this was very very powerful if this resonated with you there is a link in the description below to donate thank you so much to those that do but other than that squad i love you guys so much take care guys